There are a lot of techniques both universal and character related available for players to learn, but sometimes learning a technique and learning how to apply it takes some effort. This video aims not to only teach you how to learn rubber techniques, but techniques for all characters. To get started, pick a technique that you want to learn. For this video, we'll take wave bouncing. It's a universal technique for all characters, and wave bouncing neutral B is one of the harder variants to get down properly. First, you want to break down the exact inputs before learning. In the case of wave bounce neutral B, that is, well, facing left, during forward momentum to slightly tap to the right, press B followed by tapping to the left. Next is to understand the timing of the inputs, as they can help you understand what you do wrong. For example, if Robin gets a side B to the right, it means that Robin did not return the control stick to neutral before pressing. No turnaround at all would indicate that Robin was too late, as the neutral B has to be pressed within 5 frames after tapping to the right and returning to the neutral position. The last part of the wave bounce is a B reverse, which can be done by flicking the stick to the opposite direction your character is looking within 5 frames of pressing the previous neutral B. Having to do multiple inputs that you're not familiar with can be daunting, so you want to work towards making them part of your muscle memory. Practice the inputs first and see what needs adjustment based on the results as described before. Once you get the inputs down a couple of times, you keep practicing them. You don't need to lock yourself up for hours to practice well. What I did myself was practicing the inputs for around 20 minutes per day in between all other kinds of daily activities. Sometimes multiple sessions per day even. During these sessions, you want to set a goal for yourself. This can be getting the techniques a certain number of times or perhaps having a high score on how many times you can do a technique in a row. I did this, for example, with Attack Ants or Becca until I managed to get like 27 in a row. Not all techniques can be easily practiced as situations cannot always be recreated for these techniques to function. Sometimes you need to simulate inputs and conditions. For example, Robin's shield poke setup needs a shield to function during a normal game. But for practice you only need to know the inputs and their timing. In the shield poke's case, you only need to use Arc Thunder and buff the attack cancel back air. You don't even need to have the Levin Sword charged up. Once you get the technique down in training mode, you can hop onto some friendlies or online depending on what's available. Both environments have less pressure around them to win and more room to experiment with what you've learned. The techniques you practice in training mode become of good use here to test out and integrate into your play, where you can learn more about different ways to apply them. Some are obvious on how to apply them, while other techniques can be a bit more tricky. For this part, we'll continue with the wavebound neutral B. Plenty of characters can use this to space with their projectiles or disjoints, but the biggest benefit goes to the characters with a charge move that are cancelable, such as Robin and Samus, as it adds more options out of an already useful option. Apart from fainting your approach and spacing your projectiles, it can also be utilized in a lot of other scenarios, such as edge guarding or in Robin's case, recovering back on the stage with an arc fire on the ledge. So while techniques can be universal, their utility can vary among characters. Having a guide for such helps, but it doesn't hurt to explore the options yourself during practice. Once you've built up enough confidence and experience with your techniques, you can move on to use these techniques in actual matches to reap the rewards. You may still find yourself flubbing some of them every once in a while, but you can always go back to training mode and friendlies to sharpen up these inputs. Especially when you switch often between offline and online, like myself for example. 